in part first of video we have studied graphene and its synthesis now in second part of the video we will discuss about the graphene and its derivatives graphene is an atomically thin two dimensional sheets of sp2 carbon atom and its structure looks like a honeycomb it has many uh, desirable properties such as high mechanical strength electrical conductivity and many more derivatives of graphene there are three major derivatives of graphene graphene oxide reduced graphene oxide and graphene quantum dots we will discuss one by one of these derivatives so first one is graphene oxide it has similar hexagonal carbon structure to that of graphene but it contain hydroxyl alkoxy carbonyl carboxylic acid and other oxygen based functional group so when graphene undergo oxidation it will produce graphene oxide which mean that the carboxyl hydroxy carbonyl group these groups get incorporated on the surface of graphene and it will produce graphene oxide so it is easily synthesized and it has many advantages that is higher solubility because these groups majority of these groups are polar in nature and it will be dissolved in water due to the phenomena that like dissolve like because the water has also polar nature and the most suitable property of this graphene oxide is that it undergoes surface functionalization and it will present it many opportunity for use in nano composite material so when uh, these functional group act as a functional group for the extraction of metal ions or a uh, waste water treatment or we can say that it can extract any pollutants from the water also these functional group act as a bridge for the for the incorporation of other functional group so this will improve the advantages as compared to bare graphene second is reduced graphene oxide when the graphene oxide pass through the process of reduction it will produce reduced graphene oxide and the function of this reduced graphene oxide that it will have minimum number of oxygen oxygen functional groups which mean that its property is almost similar to the bare graphene or unfunctionalized graphene so its property are closer to the graphene graphene quantum dots this is the third class or third derivatives of the graphene in this case the graphene sheets have letter di dimension or letter diameter that is less than 10 nanometer synthesis of graphene oxide the most suitable method for the synthesis of graphene oxide is hammer method in this method the graphite powder is treated with potassium permanganate as an oxidizer previously it was treated with potassium chlorate uh, and it will evolve chlorine dioxide gas that is toxic so it is replaced by potassium permanganate and sodium nitrate is used as a source of nitric acid because sodium nitrate will produce nitric acid in c2 upon mixing all these these will produce graphene oxide due to safer and more scalable nature of the hammers method it is one of the it is one that is generally used to generate graphene oxide so it is the most suitable method for the synthesis of graphene oxide modified hammer method the basic method is similar to the um, original hammer method but there is some modification that the graphite flax is treated with some protonated solvent that is sulfuric acid phosphoric acid or mixture of these in the presence of sodium nitrate followed by the addition of an oxidizing agent that is potassium permanganate so then it is followed by the dilution step so it is diluted with water and the resultant solution is treated with hydrogen peroxide 
so the function of hydrogen peroxide is to remove any metal ion from the oxidizer and the resultant solution will be yellowish or brownish yellow liquid so the solid material is centrifuge and it is further treated with dilute hydrochloric acid its function is to remove any metal ion species and then a solution is further washed centrifuge several times with water and the ph of the solution will maintain at neutral and the resultant graphene oxide will be obtained improve hammer method so the original hammer method is improved in a sense that the use of sodium nitrate is completely eliminated and it is replaced by the use of phosphoric acid and also the amount of oxidizing agent potassium permanganate is increased so this improvement evolve no toxic gases provide easy temperature control and results in graphene oxide powder with higher degree of oxidation so this sketch will show the comparison of all these three hammers method simple hammer method we will use potassium permanganate sulfuric acid and sodium nitrate in case of improved hammer method the sodium nitrate is replaced by phosphoric acid and also the uh, amount of potassium permanganate is increased so here it is 3 molar and it is 6 molar hammer modified method 6 molar of potassium permanganate in the presence of sulfuric acid and sodium nitrate it is similar to the hammer method but the amount of potassium permanganate is increased in this case so the hammer method so the uh, graphite oxide so hgo it is resulted from hammer graphite oxide that is from hammer method igo it is from improved graphene oxide method and the hammer modified so hammer graphene oxide plus so it mean that this this is from the modified hammer method reduce graphene oxide so the graphene oxide produced by the previous processes it is reduced by different reducing agents and the aim of this uh, uh, reduced graphene oxide is to eliminate oxygen or oxygen functional groups or to minimize the amount of oxygen functional group that are present in graphene oxide so it is done by different uh, processes that is chemical thermal electrochemical and each of these uh, is discussed here so in case of thermal treatment graphene oxide is treated at high temperature and oxygen in form of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide gases is evolved so the thermal annealing is done at elevated temperature in oxygen free environment or by microwave heating and also by high intensity light chemical reduction so in this case we will use some chemical for reduction that is hydrazine metal hydride and hydrohalic acid photocatalytic reduction so graphene oxide is reduced to reduce graphene oxide using some light so that is uv light and catalytic it mean in the presence of catalyst so titanium oxide will be at as a catalyst in the presence of uv light so it will convert the graphene oxide to reduce graphene oxide electrochemical reduction so here the gain of electron will takes place and the electron exchange will will be uh, at the electrode surface and it will results in the reduction of graphene oxide to reduce graphene oxide there are some green methods so in this case we will use ascorbic acid sugar amino acid or even microorganism that will convert the graphene oxide into reduce graphene oxide third emerging derivatives is graphene quantum dots as we already defined it the graphene quantum dots are the graphene nano sheets that are less than 100 nanometer in their lattice dimension and less than 10 nanometer layers that is one or few layer of stack graphene so it is produced by top down and bottom up method and 
it the main source of it is re either reduced graphene oxide or graphene oxide so these method include high power ultrasonication hydrothermal solvothermal microwave assisted thermal treatment and liquid phase exfoliation also the green methods are also reported one pod hydrothermal method which produces the graphene quantum dots that is 90 minute duration time uh, from the black carbon as a source and also there is another method that is to synthesize the gra graphene quantum dots using rice husk biomass as a carbon source this will show the derivatives of graphene so it is single layer graphene and this graphene is present in the multi layer form so when it is treated with some oxidizing agents it will produce graphene oxide the colored groups that are the oxygen containing functional groups that get incorporated on the sheet of graphene so it will become graphene oxide when this sheet is treated with some reduction process or some reducing agent it will produce reduced graphene oxide if we look at this figure there are few number of these colored groups or oxygen containing functional groups while in this case there are plenty of oxygen containing functional groups we have studied that the uh, reduced graphene oxide or graphene oxides are the major source for the quantum dots graphene oxide quantum dots or reduced graphene oxide quantum dots so when the latter dimension of this graphene oxide is reduced to 10 nanometer or less than 10 nanometer it will become graphene oxide quantum dots and when the latter dimensions of this reduced graphene oxide is reduced to less than 10 nanometer it will produce reduced graphene oxide quantum dots